Hey guys, welcome back to another advent calendar video. This is number four of the series. I know I've done quite a few in a row now. I'm sorry. I tried to think of a different video idea for this one. I couldn't think of anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do another advent calendar video. This one is a little bit different though. I'm gonna be doing it a little bit different to the others. This is gonna be in my old style. Like this is how the calendar series started with this kind of video. I used to do these videos as more of like a makeup challenge where I had to put the products on my face in order of what they came out of the calendar. So product number one goes on first, product number 25 goes on last. Um, This is the calendar that we're gonna be using. It's by the brand. Sunkist, I actually forgot, is by the brand Sunkist. I don't think I've ever heard of them before, but a lot of you guys said you wanted me to test this calendar out, so here it is. This is the Sunkist, what's its name? Christmas is too sparkly, said no one ever. Advent calendar. Is that its name? I mean, that's what it says on it. And it's in this nice pink color. It's kind of like got a bit of a cheetah print on it and it's holographic. Like, I don't know how you can see. It's pretty nice. Like, I think it looks good. A bit confused as to why this one hasn't got a door on it. Like, it's revealing one of the products already. It cost me £14, I think, which I think is amazing for a beauty calendar. I'm just going to get on with the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. I mean, the first thing you get is a bronzer. I think I'm going to leave that until the end because I don't know how I'm going to get that out without ripping the whole thing apart. But yeah, you get a bronzer in there. We're going to save that. What is this? Why is there a sneaky little brush making its way through? I'm guessing it's fallen out of one of these. But anyway, let's start with day number one, which is this one here. Okay, we're in. Day number one is a little eyeshadow palette. It actually looks quite nice. So this is the Warm Nudes eyeshadow quad. It's just a bunch of warm nude colours. They're quite nice and bronzy and warm and you've got three mattes but you've also got one little shimmer as well. So, so I'm just going to start off with the lightest matte shade and I'm just going to run that through my crease. I'm now gonna go in with a bit of this shade as well. I think this one looks like something I'd probably prefer. It's just like a slightly, a slightly more ready toned brown, I'd say. I'm now gonna go in with the darkest color, which is this sort of matte brown shade. And I'm just gonna take, oh, I need a smaller brush. I only got this one out. I'm just gonna take it on like the corner and just kind of go in my corner a little bit. Hopefully that works. Take a little bit of that, tap, tap, tap. And then finally, I'm just gonna take a bit of the kind of bronzy shimmer shade and I'm just gonna pop that on my lid. It was all going so well until I did the shimmer. I feel like the matte shades are so good. Like I'm so impressed. They applied really nicely. They blended really nicely. There wasn't any fallout. And then I went in with the shimmer shade and Mm, I feel like it wasn't really showing up. It worked a little bit better when I did it with my finger. There was a lot of fallout with that shimmer shade. It is now all over my face. I need to try and brush it off. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I feel like it's a pretty decent eyeshadow look. I'm hoping there might be another eyeshadow product in this calendar, maybe with like a slightly lighter shimmer shade to go on top. I think that might show up nicer. I'm now gonna move on to day number two two. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to day number two. That wasn't funny. Okay, day number two is this one here. Well, now we know where the brush went. <laughs> Wait, where has the brush gone? The brush has disappeared. It's not even there anymore. So I'm guessing the sneaky brush that we saw on here was probably meant to be in day number two, but um, it's gone for a run. It's disappeared. It's in here somewhere. Where the freaking hell has it gone? <laughs> day number three is this one up here. Guys, it's happened. We've got our first nail file, our first nail file of the advent calendar series. I mean, if it was going to be in any of them, it was going to be this one because they tend to put these in cheaper calendars. Um, I mean, actually, you're pretty nice. That is a nice looking nail file, a bit of like rose gold glitter. It's a pretty decent one. It's very small. Can't do anything with this on my face. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. Okay, day number four is this one. Ooh, lovely. 
We've got these little eyeshadow brush sponge type things. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty adorable, but they're just useless. Adorable, but useless. A bit like me, you know? Okay, day number five. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm struggling. Ooh, what's this? Ultimate Pout lipstick quad i think yeah it's a little lipstick quad so these are the shades that you get you've got a kind of lighter nudie color a bronzy shade a ready shade and this lovely pinky purple shade but i guess i've got to try one out haven't i i think i'm gonna go for the nudie one and then if something better pops up in the calendar like a better lip product i can just put that on top so yeah i guess i'm just gonna rub my finger in it whoa it's slimy what is this i think it's more of like actually i don't know what it is i was gonna say like a tinted balm yeah that's what it's like it's like a tinted lip balm consistency so it's quite slimy hopefully we have another lip product later because i feel like that hasn't really done much oh no wait it has it's made me look even more pale i need bronzer i am looking so pale okay day number six Ooh, we've got a blusher. Okay, I mean, that's gonna help as well. I just need something on my face. So yeah, this is a little blusher. It's in this, oh no. It's in this nice pinky color. It's quite a nice um, natural blush. I feel like sometimes in these calendars, the blushes are like bright pink or something crazy. But this looks like quite a nice natural shade and it's completely matte, I think. Yeah, it's completely matte. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my brush. I would never normally do blush before bronze bronzer but today we're gonna have to so yeah let's see how this goes I actually think it's quite nice it applied really easily it's a really nice shade like I said it's quite a nice natural blush color I think that's pretty good. Day number seven better be the best thing in the entire world because I literally can't get into it like I'm trying so hard and I can't get these doors open. They're so tricky. Come on, love. Oh my goodness, I don't think I'm ever gonna get inside. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Ooh. Okay, so day number seven is another eyeshadow quad. This one looks pretty. Oh, this one does look nice. Although actually, it's quite similar to the other one. This one is called Sweet Berry. This is the one from earlier, and this is the one that I've just opened. I feel like the matte shades are quite similar. We've got a lot of bronziness going on here, but I guess everyone loves, well, maybe not everyone, but a lot of people do love a bronzy eye. So I guess it makes sense to put that in there. So you've got two matte shades at the top, and then you've got two shimmer shades shades at the bottom they're kind of like bronzy shades with a hint of pinkiness i think um should we give this a go i feel like this one looks really pretty i'm just gonna get a little bit of this on my finger and then i'm just gonna pop that on the top of the shimmer from earlier i mean it's definitely helped to lighten it a little bit because obviously it was a lighter shade but i'm just not sure of these shimmers i feel like i mean i don't know that much about eyeshadow so i probably shouldn't be talking about eyeshadow but i don't think the shimmers are that good they're definitely not the best okay day number eight is this one here Ooh. got some stickers so yeah you get this little strip of stickers we've got some hearts some stars some flowers I don't really know what to say. They're just stickers. As always with the cheaper calendars, they're definitely aimed a little bit more at like younger people. Okay, day number nine is, oh, hello. We found our good old friend, the escapee. There he is. So that was meant to be in day number two. That is the brush that you get. It's just like a very cheap kind of brush. I'm not even sure what you use that for. Maybe like a little bit of blush. Oh, He's a little bit stiff, but there you go. You get a little brush in day number two. But yeah, in day number nine, you get another little eyeshadow quad. We've had quite a lot of eyeshadow, haven't we? But this one looks different to the others, so that's good. It's called the Spotlight Glam Eyeshadow Quad. Let me just show you. So this one looks like this. You've got a kind of shimmery white color, a shimmery gold color, a shimmery silver color, and then a matte black up there as well. I don't think I have any use for you. I'd say my eyeshadow is probably done by now. Do you see my struggle you can't push the things in to open it so to open it you have to fully like get your nail round if you have weak nails don't buy this because you will not have any by the end of the month honestly okay we're in day number 10 looks like 
a select cost. What a racket. I'm sorry. This is so noisy. It looks like this. It's in a kind of dark reddy sort of shade. Looks all right, actually. I'm going to whack a little bit on. Why not? I always end up putting so many lip products on in these videos. Okay. Oh, oh, mm. Mm. but that's not too bad. It's definitely tinted my lips slightly. Day number 11. Oh, here we go again. Oh, I did a big rip. So this is, oh, we've got a brow pencil. That's pretty good. We've got the Easy Brow Eyebrow Pencil in the shade medium to dark, but we're gonna give it a go. It's just like a standard little eyebrow pencil. So, oh no. Okay, I think this is probably the best I can do with my eyebrows with this. Um, the thing I will say is it goes blunt really quickly. Like I'd finished my first eyebrow, went to move on to the second one and it already looked a little bit like this. So it already had lost that kind of point to it. Did the job, it's not the most amazing thing in the world, but it's okay. Day number 12 is this one. Did you hear that? <laughs> We've got a lipstick and oh it's like a nice bright red one Ugh. i'm gonna say all of these products smell a little bit like plastic but that's fine we'll move past that the thing i'm concerned about is that this this is there's are you okay there's like this weird thing on it i don't know how well that's going to show on camera you probably can't see but take my word for it there's like a weird slimy thing on my lipstick i guess i've got to put it on haven't i i haven't got a lipstick on yet so i'm quite happy to put this on oh, we're going for a red but this calendar hasn't really given me a choice oh wow it's so slimy can you tell from like watching me apply it it literally is so slippery and so slimy it's melting as i'm putting it on it makes it really hard to be neat with it um oh dear see it's literally so smeary mm, i just don't like the formula the color I don't like that either. I was trying to think of something good to say. I don't like the colour. It's all over my teeth already. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a nightmare. I don't really like red lips in general on me, but especially not this like bright red. I think I'd prefer like a slightly darker red, but yeah, that's the lipstick done. Okay, day number 13 is... Ooh. Oh, we've got a bronzer, even though we've got another bronzer here. Yeah, this is just like a nice matte bronzy colour. It looks, oh goodness, it looks like that. That actually looks like a pretty good kind of contour shade for me. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush and we shall give my face a bronze at long last. It seriously needs it. I would say that was actually a pretty good bronzer slash contour, whatever you want to call it. I think that worked quite well. I liked it because it didn't come out too strong. So it was quite easy to just build it up. Um, it blended out really nicely, I'd say. Okay, day number 14. <gasps> we have a highlighter. You get a little highlighter in there. It looks like a really nice one as well. Like that looks like a really nice shade. It's just kind of like your typical sort of champagne-y colour. I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush. Let's give it a go. The moment of truth. Are we going to have a nice glowy face? I mean, I'm not overly blown away by it, but it's definitely done the job. It's added a nice bit of highlight. It's actually quite a nice, like, natural highlight. So I quite like that. I think it's pretty good. Okay, day number 15. I'm literally just pulling this whole thing apart. So you get a little hair clip in this day. I can't even remember what day we're on, but you get a little hair clip. I have nothing to say about it. It's literally a piece of plastic that goes snap, snap, snap. I can't do anything with my face with that. I can't put any makeup on with it. So I'm just going to pop it to one side. But yeah. Hello. Would you like it? Day number 16. You get another little eyeshadow cord. This is called Back to Nap. Cherelle. This is what it looks like. It's got a matte kind of pale shade, a matte bronzy colour, a shimmery dark purple and then a shimmery lighter purple. And there we go. I mean again I have no use for this. My eyeshadow's done but that is what you get. Day number 17 is... 
mega bold lash it's a mascara this calendar the cheapest one has managed to do a full face of makeup i feel like we all need to put our hands together and clap them <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that right let's have a look at the wand what have we got i mean as expected it's one of those kind of cheap wands I, I don't know how to describe it but it's just one of those cheap mascara wands if you know you know size wise it's decent though i feel like that is like my perfect size my perfect mascara size not too big not too small not too fat not too thin it's just spot on really right let's give this a try okay so this is what it looks like after a few coats I'm pretty impressed. It's not about to be my new favourite mascara, but it's really not that bad. In fact, I'd say it's good. It's a good mascara. It's added a little bit of length to them. It's made them darker. It's kind of just done everything I needed. So yeah, I'm really impressed with that. I think that is a decent mascara. Okay, so day number 18 is this one. Can we please ignore how I've opened this advent calendar? It is an absolute mess, but I swear it is the most difficult calendar I've ever had. It just doesn't open properly. So you have to just rip the whole thing to get to things. I've made an absolute mess, but anyway, day number 18, we have another lip gloss. This one is like a brownie color. It might help to kind of darken the red a little bit and make it a bit more how I'd want it. It might also ruin the whole thing we're gonna give it a try. Okay, this was not a good idea. It's just made them even more slimy looking. Has it made them look a little bit darker though? I feel like maybe a tiny bit. Honestly, my lips have never looked so juicy and so wet in all my life. Okay, day number 20. Again, it's got a little slimy thing on it. What is up with these lipsticks? Um, I probably would have preferred this, although it's quite quite a dark color but yeah should i put a bit of this on top as well go on then okay i'm just kind of wiping a little bit on mm -mm 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 -mm. i need to stop no i need to stop now this is not looking good okay no more lip products we're now going to move on to day number 21 my lucky number what's it going to be in this advent calendar okay day number 21 is oh no it's a lip liner there's me saying no more lip products we've got a little lip liner pencil it's in a kind of purpley shade i guess i'll put a little bit on oh my god my teeth are covered okay i feel like this is doing absolutely nothing because i've already got so much on my lips it just it just can't even get to them there's about 10 layers of stuff right now it can't get to my lips it's all right a little bit sharp i'm sure if it was used properly it would do the job day number 22 is this so in day number 22 you get a little pot of jangly things oh this might sound really nice oh it sounds like sleigh bells ringing and jingling it probably doesn't but you get a little pot of gems i don't really know what you're going to do with these because they haven't given any kind of glue or anything like that right now i don't really have a huge amount of use for that day number 23 <gasps> pencil sharpener i mean i did say that the eyebrow pencil went blunt really quickly so that's pretty good usually i'd be like oh pencil sharpener but for once i feel like you do need it in this calendar because that pencil it didn't last long so there we go a nice little pink pencil sharpener i've just noticed i never opened day number 19 so we're gonna do that one now oh dear this is such a shambles this video is a mess honestly day number 19 we get a nice little nail polish. It's in this kind of ready shade. I mean, it looks okay. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, I can't do anything with it. I can't put it on my face. So I'm just gonna pop this to one side. Okay, the final door, day number 24, we get, oh, I'm just gonna rip the whole thing at this point. Are you kidding me? Is it me or do they look exactly the same? So you get another nail polish. Okay, no, wait, I've just seen them next to each other. This one is a little bit more of like a pinky tone, I guess. This one's more red, but they're very similar. But there we go, day 24. 
another nail polish again can't put that on my face so i'm gonna put it to one side and then i guess day 25 is this one so this is what the bronzer looks like it's a nice size it looks like a nice shade it looks like a good bronzer um the one we got earlier looks like this so they are a little bit different the one from earlier was a bit more kind of cool toned so that's why it worked as a contour this one is a little bit more of a warmer tone i guess i could pop a little bit of this on as well i'm just gonna take a little bit on this big old brush and just kind of just just kind of dust it everywhere to warm my face up a little bit. I feel like that didn't really make too much of a difference, but there you go. That is the final product. The advent calendar has been completely destroyed, but it's now empty. And this is my full face of makeup using a cheaper advent calendar. Honestly, I don't think this looks too bad. I think it's made a pretty decent makeup look. I think it's a pretty decent calendar. It would definitely be better suited, like I said earlier, to younger people. I think like a young teen would absolutely love that if they're just starting out with makeup because the products do work, but they're definitely more like kind of teen kids makeup vibes. So yeah, I think that's the target audience for that kind of calendar, but it's super affordable. You get a full face in there. I feel like I can't complain. Like it is a decent calendar for the price. Let me know down below what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.